Hi everyone, my name is Emily. I'm a member of the race committee and I do medical research for Harvard University. Specifically, I work at the Harvard School of Dental Medicine looking at dental stem cells and how we can maybe repurpose them to grow bone in other parts of the body. So for the pandemic, my lab completely shut down and when they were able to establish a safe testing system to track people who were testing positive to ensure that everyone else in the work environment could be safe. Um, a lot of people started asking me questions about how our testing procedure was, works because we get tested weekly and we can self-administer it. And it basically goes to a company over in Cambridge where they test the results and then I get a text message the next day or even within 12 hours, I've gotten it before, letting me know if I've tested positive or not. So I just kind of wanted to go through the process. Um, I'm gonna do kind of like a take on an unboxing video just to show you exactly how I do my weekly test. Basically just to increase awareness and show that this process can be really easily done if it is prioritized by your work environment. And just to also, you know, if something like this happens again, uh, it's good to sh share best practices so that other workplaces can implement something like this in the future. So uh, each week when I walk in, I just pick up a bag from someone sitting in the front. Looks just like this. Um, so this is, ends up being actually our biohazard bag that we put the sample back in. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the different components like I'm unboxing it. So first, each kit comes with a little instruction manual. And so basically it just kind of shows you the process of how to collect your specimen and to safely put it in the bag and how to um, dispose of it essentially. So I've already done this a million times. So this is helpful, but it is also available online. So I'm not gonna go through it. But um, also in there, what is important to me every single time I do this is this little information card. So it comes with a little barcode on it. And this is information that's put on the tube Essentially, it connects to my personal profile at work, so they don't know my name or anything individually. It's completely anonymous, and I'm just identified by a number. And then I'm guessing, too, one of these other numbers is the billing code, so they know which institution to bill for the testing. So I can hang on to this little card and also the instruction manual for my personal reference, so I'm going to leave those outside of the biohazard bag. The final two components are the collection tube which also has the same numbers on it. You can see here and here, and the barcode as my little handout. So um, this tube is probably one of the most important things in the kit. I wanna make sure I don't touch this seal around here because that's how you could get contamination. And I've also washed my hands for 20 to 30 seconds before doing this. And in some cases, I even wipe down the bag with ethanol that's available in my lab sometimes. So the last thing that's in here is my Q-tip. I'm gonna do the, yeah, so you can see it. Um, and notice too, it's not as long, it's not gonna go all the way up into my brain. Um, I can actually just swab inside the nostrils because the tests have gotten sensitive enough that, that you don't need to go way back to try to pick up virus. Um, it's sensitive enough that I can get it, even if you have a very small amount just in your nasal ways. Uh, I know some people too who are doing spit tests, those are, those are working well now too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Q-tip, so I'm just expose that. I don't want to touch the, the actual cotton part, so I don't want to contaminate it. And I'm also going to open up my tube, making sure I don't touch the inside of that as well. Set the cap down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my mask down just long enough. And go one, two, three, four, five. And then the other nostril, avoid my nose ring. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm just gonna drop that down into the tube, put my mask back up without touching my face, and I'm gonna go ahead and cap it. I wanna cap it hard, because if it comes undone, then everything's contaminated again. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slip this in my biohazard bag and seal that. And now um, I can go down to my lobby in my building and they have a little biohazard bin. I'll just drop it in there. Someone comes and picks it up every day and then I'll have a text message and an email waiting for me, you know, either sometime late tonight or early tomorrow morning. Um, since cases have gone up, sometimes it's taken more like two days rather than just overnight to get it done. But for the most part, 
our infection rate has been very low and it has been really nice to have peace of mind every single week knowing that I'm not negative and I'm not, or sorry, knowing that I am testing negative and that I'm not spreading the disease to other people. So um, thanks for watching my little unboxing video. It was my first time doing it. Didn't even have a box, but I think we made it work. Uh, and stay safe out there. Feel free to comment on the race page or even in our YouTube account page if you have any questions about specific testing procedures. And I think we're going to be putting out another video soon just explaining how the PCR tests and the antibody tests work. So you can keep an eye out for that on our social media as well. All right, have a safe Christmas.